In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page with Divi. But before we go ahead and start designing, I'd like to talk about a few things that are very, very important when it comes to creating landing pages. So firstly, you have to ask yourself, why are you creating that landing page? One of the uh, most common things that uh, you may want to achieve is perhaps maybe generating leads, giving away an offer, or even trying to uh, give a discount of some sort. Oftentimes you see a lot of websites, they have quite a lot of information on their landing pages. And this takes me now to the second point, which is try and keep your messaging on the landing page as basic as possible. And all the sections that you're going to add onto your landing page should complement each content that's on there. It's not a matter of just adding as much information as you can on the landing page because that causes a lot of confusion and a lot of people will leave that page because there's just so much to read. So make sure you have a focus, make sure you have a specific message or a, something that you want to achieve with that landing page and then start building from that. So what we're going to do in this example is create a landing page for a bakery and that bakery maybe, is, uh, let's say, is giving away a recipe for free. And in doing that, you're going to be collecting leads. So let's dive in and let's start creating our page. Throughout this tutorial, I use Divi. So if you'd like to use Divi for your designs, I have a course which you can get absolutely free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. All you have to do is to send me an email. Just let me know that you've bought Divi using my affiliate link and then I'll give you access to that course. This course costs $247 and it will teach you how to use Divi right from beginner to advanced level. So I'm gonna come over here and just start by coming over here to pages and then click on add new. So we're gonna call this page a bakery, use Divi Builder. So what I'm going to do in this example is I am going to build this using a pre-made layout because a lot of the times this will save us a lot of time. So I'm gonna come over here to choose pre-made layout and then I'm just going to go ahead and choose um, any layout that's going to work with my design. So I think um, let's go with this farmer's market here. So I'm going to click here, click on use this layout. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and make some changes to this to suit our design. So I'm going to come over here to the module settings. So I'm going to click here on uh, filter and then modified styles. So this will show us exactly what was changed on this layout. So I'm going to start here with this image. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to upload our own image. So the image I'm going to go with is, let's go with this one here. Upload an image. So now you can see our image is in place and it's looking beautiful. All right. So the next thing we're going to do now is to adjust our text size. So this is where you can add your um, title for this image page so i'm going to say download our latest recipe and this description here you, we can go ahead and add you know your description but i'm just going to leave this as it is and then here on the buttons i'm actually going to get rid of the one that says donate so i'm just going to come and remove the text so once you remove the text the button just goes away and this button here which says get involved i'm going to change that to download recipe Okay, right, so now that we have this all set, this is looking great, let's move down here. So we may want to go in and make some adjustments as well to the margins and so on. So I'd rather do it in the visual builder here. So I'm just gonna come over here, put my mouse on the top here and just drag this like that. And I'm gonna do the same to the bottom. Just drag this a little bit. Okay, so now that we have all this in place, uh, what we may want to do as well is maybe make this text uh, slightly smaller. So let's go in and do that. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on this brush tool, and I am going to reduce the size of this text a little bit like that. And then I am going to make it all caps. All right. So the next part we need to come to design here is this section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this. And in fact, let's go ahead and delete all the sections that we don't need. Right, so all these I don't need. The only one that I found interesting was this main one here. Okay, so we might need a video later. We don't need this from the blog and we don't need the newsletter, okay? So we're trying to keep these this information here on this page to a minimal. So now let's start adding more information. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add a regular section. So here I am going to add a one third, two thirds column. And on the first column here, I'm going to add 
an image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the image that we're going to need is for this lady here. So we're going to save that. And then over here, we want to add some text. So I'm going to go ahead and add a text module. Right, so over here, I am going to use some lorem text. Then I'm just going to copy this text and paste it over here. But of course, in your case, you can, you know, you can always use whatever text you need for this. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to also add a bit more text here for the title. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my text module. I'm going to select it. And then I'm just going to call this Meet Jane. Okay, so let's make this a heading. So I'm going to come over here to paragraph, heading two. I like that. So let's go ahead and save. And then I'm just going to drag this to the top. Just like that. Okay, so that's looking nice. And also what I may want to do is to reduce the space here, adding negative margins, so that this paragraph is closer to this name. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this design nice and simple, nice and clean. So now that we have this main area here, we have uh, Meet Jane where she talks about her journey to start starting up her bakery. Uh, the next section that we may need to add here is maybe of uh, the actual video of some of the foods they, or oh, some of the um, bread or things that bake, just showing a bit of uh, behind the scenes how, how they do things. So first of all, let's give this a dark background. So I'm going to come over here to background and I'm going to choose a very dark color. So I'm going to scroll down here. That's strange because this is supposed to add a color and I'm not sure why this is not doing that. Anyway, um, if that's giving us trouble, we might as well just get rid of it. Click this plus button here. Click on regular. And then I'm just going to add my video manually, my way. I'm going to select video. Right, so over here, we want to give this video a very nice overlay image. So I'm going to come over here, overlay URL. I'm going to click on this plus button and we're going to add our images. So let's go with uh, maybe this bread here. Upload an image. So that's going to act as our overlay image. And you can see that it looks really, really nice. So it's important every time you uh, add video overlays, you add a very nice image here. This makes your design look very, very professional. Okay, so now that I have my video settings, the next thing I'm going to do is to come over here to design. And then I'm going to go to sizing because this video is a bit too big. So I'm going to come over here, make it slightly smaller. So I'll go with maybe 66%. I'm going to center it and then save that. Okay. Uh, now over here, I'm going to add a color, dark, very dark color in the background so that the video really stands out. So I'm going to click here on this red and then I'm just going to scroll down until I get the very dark color just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Now, what we're going to do, I've just noticed that uh, perhaps maybe having this video in the, in the middle here, we have quite a lot of space here on the side. So I'm just going to undo this, okay? And then I'll show you how I'm going to add a bit more information to the right of the video. So I'm going to come back over here to, uh, to sizing. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and... Um, change the column structure to about two-thirds, one-third, okay? So this allows us now to add a bit more information here. So I'm going to click this plus button and add a text module. Right, so I'm going to add some lorem text in there. Now, to, for this to look really nice, we might as well change the colors of that text. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And then I'm just going to change this color here. Okay, so let's go with this color here. And I'm going to make sure that I copy it so I can use it again. So I'm going to save that. Click this plus button, add another text module. And this one is going to have my title. So I'm just going to say your title goes here or your title. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to design. Oh, in fact, before I do that, we need to assign this to heading two. And then over here on design, heading text, heading two. 
Let's make it all caps. And let's also add our color. Now, if you haven't noticed, uh, what you could also do here is to click these three little dots. And uh, this also gives you a color palette that you can work with. Okay, so we're going to go with that color. And then I am going to drag this to the top just by coming over here and dragging it on the top here just like that. Okay, so that's looking great. So maybe the one thing that we may also want to add here is testimonials. So why don't we add some testimonials here? Okay, so I'm going to uh, click this plus button here. Add testimonial. Right, so what we're going to do is to remove this background here because that doesn't really look nice. So I'm going to come over here to background. And then for our background color, I'm just going to make it all transparent, just like that. So that's how you quickly remove the color from this um, from this background. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we want to do is to add an image to to our pro, uh, to our to our testimonial. So I'm going to come over here to image, click this button here, and I'm just going to use an image that we already have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, upload an image. Great. Now, I don't like these uh, quotes here on the top, so I'm going to come over here to Elements, and then I'm just going to remove that. Okay, so that's looking good so far. So let's add the name. So I'm going to come back over here to the text, and um, this, okay, the name here. Um, all right, so okay, let's, uh, let's call her Susan. Okay. And now let's go in and customize the text. So I'm going to come over here and uh, click on text, body text, and then let's just change the color of that. Right, so the color we're going to go with is, um, let's try this one here. Yeah, um, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, we'll go with that. So what I've noticed here is actually having a testimonial here is actually much better than having this text that we've just created. So I think I might as well go ahead and delete this. Okay, so now we just have this testimonial and this uh, perhaps is um, someone that's really um, excited or happy about the service or maybe they've actually used this recipe and they're giving a testimonial here and this is the video of them you know, creating whatever they created using that recipe. Okay, so as you can see here, our page is very nice, it's very basic. What you may also want to do is to come over here and reduce the size of this image. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here on design, sizing, and then I am going to just make it slightly smaller just by dragging this to about 80%. Okay, and um, we can center it. So I think that looks nice. Save that. Okay, so let's publish this page and then take a look at the final design. So I'm going to exit the Visual Builder here. And this is our final design. basic landing page with basic steps. So this is how you design a landing page with Divi. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.